People all across the country are figuring out a new normal that might come out of COVID-19. But for one community in Southeast South Dakota, they have been figuring out their new normal ever since a tornado changed life as they knew it. In tonight's Eye on Kettle Land, Lauren Solek takes you to Delmont, South Dakota to see how the town has come along five years later. Five years ago at 10.15 a.m. on Mother's Day, a force of nature that lasted only seconds left an extraordinary impact on this small southeastern South Dakota town and its residents. It's right there, it's going into Delmont. It is just south of Delmont. Rob called our son-in-law and he said there's a tornado coming. Well, actually, he said, look out your south window and head for the basement. And, you know, you go through. Oh, you need a flashlight, my cell phone, coat, blanket. Well, you know. An EF2 tornado tore through Delmont, South Dakota and the surrounding area that morning, taking with it farms, houses, a fire hall, a church, and pieces of businesses. The house was lifted up off the foundation about six feet from the from fully being off the foundation and lifted up and slammed back down so it was ruined yeah soon though help was on its way some of our own firemen went from their own house right out the door in search for their neighbors and went down the street so that's overwhelming i mean it'll really humbles you everybody stepped in done their job without even being asked Fortunately, no lives were lost that day because of the storm. That's what sticks out in my head the most. It was just an absolute miracle. Mm -hmm. For that time of day, um, a Sunday, uh, Mother's Day, um, it's amazing. Five years later, the town of Delmont looks a little different. It's sad because the blocks that got cleared off, it's even hard to visualize what it was like. And you forget who lived where and and it'll never come back. But life goes on. And for Lila Fechner, who owns a farm just outside of town with her husband, life still includes some cleaning up. Things out of the machine shop that just got stacked on pallets and stuff are still on the pallets. <laughs> Fechner says the cattle that were once on their property have not been back to the farm since being moved the day of the tornado. As for other nearby farms, Delmont Fire Chief Elmer Gehring says two were rebuilt and the owners of another moved to town and retired. 30 seconds and I'm just going to say nothing got close to being normal for a year. It's probably still not normal, but it's, it's a new normal. A new normal that has room for growth. There's big open areas and some people have rebuilt new houses and some are, I've heard of a, another house possibly being built in the, the path area sometime here in the next year. What will you remember the most from that day? The kindness and generosity of people. And, and being thankful that no one got killed and that we live to tell about it. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Lauren Solick. The Zion Lutheran Church in Delmont was destroyed in that tornado. A new church now stands in its place and will ring its bells at 10:15 a.m. this Sunday in remembrance.